when there's treats involved, look at these happy cats. Get the happy cat over there playing in the grass. See if he'll do it again. Chasing his tail. Isn't that cute? Come on, do it again. Chase your tail. Of course, they stop. You'll know it though when you. So this is what visiting hours look like. We are open from one to five, and our cats are addicted to cat lovers. They look at the hands and hope that there's treats involved. Hi guys. Hi Allie. Oh, that cat's playing with his tail again. Let's see if I can zoom in. Dart. Come on, do it. Hi, Jean. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I know they're looking for Briggs. I saw Briggs earlier, too. Every time I stop viewing or showing that cat, he chases his tail. It's a beautiful day here in Minnesota. If you're new here, all these cats are spayed, neutered, vaccinated. And we are a feral cat sanctuary. We do not take in owner surrenders. We take in the cats that rescues do not take in due to behavior. Wasn't that cute? Are you guys playing? That's Bucky Bear. Hi, Lori. So it is a beautiful, beautiful day, and you can tell that it is autumn here in Minnesota by the trees in the background and by our decorations. And if you want to watch this live, you can join our Twitch. Our handle is furball underscore farm, and you can log in 24 seven and watch the cats. Samson is still here. I heard that uh, Tuxie 3 was out in the playground, so I'm hoping if you are on Twitch, that uh, if you see Tuxie 3, he is our tripod. Screenshot it. That would be so cool to see. Yay, thank you, Brian, for the donation, for the um, match matching. That is so amazing. The only way we can do this is through donations because we don't have grants. We're not like a humane society or we're not a shelter, etc. So cats can still be out on the catio here. They can get away from the scary humans. And we do have doggy doors here that the cats will be able to go into the playground once we wrap up this catio before the snow flies. Um, we will have a door for humans to go out into the playground and then we'll be able to zipper it shut. So our goal is not to keep this area warm, but to keep the snow out. So not as many cats out in the catio anymore. A lot of them like to be in the playground now, which is really awesome. And we do have litter boxes out here. There's litter boxes underneath that stand over there. Uh, food and water. When the temperature starts to get below freezing, uh, we will you will start to see heated bowls for the soup and the water. So we do still plan on feeding the cats outside here. We just opened up the playground just a little over a week ago. So this is fairly new to us as far as taking care of cats in a the real environment, you know, snow, rain, sleet. Um, I know the cats will go outside even when it's super, super cold out because they did last winter. Furball. <clears throat> yeah, and doesn't Chase look really good? His wounds have really healed well. You know it, Jill. You know it. 
Jill just said I'm getting out of Dodge. Yep. This time tomorrow I will be in the air. And then I'll be working behind the scenes. I know Chris was looking for Briggs. I saw him earlier. Who knows? Maybe he's sleeping. Maybe he got a lot of churu. So now I'll go in. Hi, Maria. Welcome. So now I will show you the um, inside the sanctuary. I will try to not move too fast. So if you're new here, they do have two cat doors. They can come in and out when they want. And we are open every single day from 1 to 5. It truly is teamwork getting these cats to become adoptable. And sometimes it can take years. We have the screen closed today, even though it's nice out, because we did release the five black cats that were in Stallone's room. Well, actually, I take that back. Only four were released because Lewis did not want to come out. So this is very important for these cats. They learn to trust humans. And some of them are outside of the comfort zone for a little bit until they realize that they are safe. Some of the cats like to watch TV. So when you come here, we've got long spoons. Look at. Um, we like it when people use spoons because if you use your hands with the churu, you run the risk of getting scratched. Some get scratched even using the spoons. But um, yes, Anne-Marie, they buy the churu to come um, to give it to the kitties. If you come with temptations, um, we have you leave them at the door. What we found is that the cats eat too many temptations and then it's a puke fest. And then they don't eat the good quality food that we have for them. So we try to limit the temptations to two, four and eight. But um, the cats that don't want to be around humans can stay up high. You know how cats like vertical places? Um, so again, if you want to be a lurker, was that Sarah that said she's a lurker? <laughs> Sometimes I lurk on there too. Um, our handle is furball underscore farm and it's free. Get the Twitch app and then there's like five cameras and we're always trying to add different views. Oh, thank you, Denise. I'll probably be back in December for a couple weeks, but definitely January and February. Definitely I will be in Florida. Definitely 100% and probably March too. Wow, 50 pack for 30 bucks. That's a lot of money. So we have a lot of lucky cats. Taxi was out at 4 a.m. my time. Oh my gosh, somebody needs to screenshot that. We have our Halloween party tonight from six to nine. We do it Fridays and Saturday nights. And we have cool lights and cool music and we just have a lot of fun with um, people coming to see our cats. It's kind of a nice extra fundraiser um, to help cushion our account. Carol, what does your brick say? I can go look for it too. Isn't that a sexy leg? Ooh, you a sexy black panther. Ooh, 
Yay, Ellie's representing. Athena, here's Athena. So the majority of these cats that I'm showing you are cats that we can't touch, although they look like they're house cats. If I were to try to touch Athena, she'd run. I don't want to disturb her. Here's Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, beautiful girl. A lot of these cats are creatures of habit. They have their favorite spots. So it helps, and um, volunteers are learning names. It helps that the cats are creatures of habit where you kind of pretty much know where they all, always are. Hi, Landon. I cannot touch Landon. If I do, he's gonna smack my hand. Hi, Waylon. And hi, Shannon. Hi. I'm petting Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Wow, you guys, I'm petting Shannon. Hi. Oh, I think that's awesome, Paula. Billy is right here, Bonnie. Hold on. <laughs> I had a no no Billy the other day. You know why? Because Billy was picking on a gray cat, not Grace, but Billy was like poofed up like a Halloween cat out in the playground and he was bullying and I had a no no him. Did you get no no Billy? Yes, you did. He's like, I'm an old man. I like having fun picking on the youngsters. He probably was teaching him a lesson, putting him through the, heart, the school of hard knocks. Right, Billy? Hi, Jan. Here's Candace. Hi, Candace. So this is the mama to Beverly and Leona. Those are the long-haired white cats that you'll see running around. And Candace says, my girls have flown the nest. So they don't hang out together, but Beverly and Leona do. So when they become adoptable, they will be adoptable as a pair only. Let's see who this is. I'm not sure who this is right off the bat. I'm wondering if it isn't Stratton. Okay, I'm petting this cat. Let's see. Yep, it's Stratton. Hi, Stratton. I just pet you, buddy. Hi, Stratton. Can I pet you again? Okay, he said, no, thank you. <laughs> well, at least he didn't have his claws out. Hi, Stratton. I ju we just gave temptations not too long ago, and boy, did he gobble them up. All right, there's Grant. Ah, there's Lucy. Lucy is one of our deaf cats. Lucy. And we can't wipe her eyes. She has stained eyes. She uh, has herpes, and it flares up here and there. She looks really good right now. If you look at her eyes, they look really good. Sometimes when people look at our cats, they look at the stains and they don't look at the eyes. She knows I love you because we do that to her all the time. So if you look at her eyes, her eyes look good. It's just the draining and we cannot wipe. We can't wipe her eyes. I can't even get close to her. We have had Lucy for, I want to say five years now. She came with a colony mate named Linus and he's a long haired orange and white. He's gorgeous. And this is our litter box area. Here's Anne Marie. Hi, Anne Marie. Hi. Yeah, herpes is so common, especially with these cats that lived outside. You know, they were born outside, born in the wild. Isn't she beautiful? I think Anne Marie is adoptable. And so we would say that Anne Marie, when she's adopted, she has baggage. She might hide for a month. 
but then she'll turn into this. Isn't she just gorgeous? You are beautiful. You are just beautiful. But most people want to adopt a cat that's gonna jump in their lap and sleep with them on day one. And that is not what our cats are. You are so pretty. So I hope when I get back, she's not here. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Maybe we can find a good home for you for Christmas, for the holidays. Um, we do have a mascot. And you notice how Will likes to be right here all the time? Because he watches to make sure everybody is behaving themselves. I don't have a return flight yet. They're so cheap. My, my flight down was $49 to Fort Myers. So I'll probably come back in December for a while. But this is our mascot. Oh, here's one of the white girls if you don't know them. All right, here's Will. Hi, Will. Hi, Will. Hi, Will. Is everybody behaving themselves, huh? Isn't he handsome? Hi, Will. I'll be flying Sun Country tomorrow. I have a noon flight. Yay! Hi, Will, Will. And I always miss these cats, but I know that the volunteers are amazing. Our team is amazing, so I don't even have to worry. Um, so his ears um, look like that because of frostbite. He was a survivor. He also has no teeth. This is what happens in Minnesota when you're homeless and you don't have adequate shelter. Your ears freeze off. We've got quite a few cats that have ears just like that. It's his badge of honor. Can you tell what team Casey likes? <laughs> what, what do you say? O-I? Oh, oops. O-H. Dr. Mills would be so disappointed in me. Oh my goodness. Please don't tell her I did that. <laughs> Nobody tell Dr. Mills I did O-I and it's O-H. Oh gee, yeah, right? We do. We don't put a hold on adoptions during Halloween. We don't really do a lot of adoptions on cats that we would worry about. So, these, this is gonna be a cute reel that Casey's making. All right, let's go over here. Most of the time when we adopt, it's to repeat adopters. Like Big Bear, he's black. He went to a home where they adopted two cats from us already, so that is not a fear for us. Oh, look at Tilty getting her churu. So there's Tilty. Hi, Kiss. Hi, Kiss. Uh-oh, Raven has a screenshot. <laughs> Look at this cat right here. Her name is Ivy, and look at she's got the prettiest green eyes. You, you thought I had Churu, didn't you? Ivy. Isn't that beautiful? I know, I know, isn't that crazy? Debbie, my flight to Florida, $49. Yeah, that's why I did it. Yeah. Here's Salsa. We've had Tilty for so long. She had a, it took a really, we kind of go with our gut with who we think would be happy. If anybody were to adopt Tilty, they'd have to be like family to one of our volunteers. Um, 
we just we just we kind of get to know them if we think they'd do well or not i would really worry about tilty it'd have to be a very experienced cat owner isn't this a pretty picture Oh, that's salsa. All right. This is our bathroom. It's occupied. Like our ducks. <laughs> so again, we are open from 1 to 5 every single day. The only time we would ever close would be if there was a, a bad snowstorm and we wouldn't want people to drive and risk their lives coming here. You haven't seen David or Jack Skellington in this area, have you? I'm not going to walk around. David, you did? Yeah. Debbie said she saw David. I hate moving too much on YouTube. Because it has to be horizontal. Did he move? Jill, that's funny. Every time I fly Sun Country, you're right. I'm on the wing. Every time. That is really funny. I never really even realized that. He moved, but David was just in this area. Here we'll go in, I'll show you Stallone. We got a couple, another new cat in, you guys, from Dr. Mills. We have Rue in here right now. You found him? Oh, okay, wait, let's back up. Just because he might move. All right. There he is. He, oh, you got, are you winking? Are you getting, are you going to be an eye guy? Hi, right, so it looks like he's got a little bit of conjunctivitis in the eye that we'll have to watch. Hey, buddy. And cats get colds like humans, so we're just going to have to keep an eye on it. Oh my gosh, look at all these cats right here. Isn't that funny? That is a cuddle puddle. Okay, so now I'll show you a couple cats in here. We got one, we named him Les after Dr. Mills' husband. Um, he is a skittish cat, but not feral. With an injured paw, he was a stray. And that's him meowing. Huh. Oh no, that's Rue. Hi, Rue. Rue is in here because Rue went to foster care. Hi. And we need to get him to the vet because he was peeing all over clear urine. So he needs blood work. We're hoping he's not a diabetic. And we're also hoping his kidneys, he's not in kidney failure. So that's Rue. All right, here we go. There's Stoney Baloney. And so why is Stallone in here? Because Stallone is on meds. Um, and Stallone likes cats. Thank goodness. And here's Les. Hi, Les. So you're going to see he's got an injured paw. Um, I think Dr. Mills lanced it, flushed it out. And we're watching it. Hi, Les. He is not a feral, and he is good with cats. He is now fully vetted. Um, and that cat meows a lot. Hi, Rue. Rue, I'm going to pray that you have good blood results. But he's putting out a lot of urine, and it's not concentrated. Um, so clearly, Rue's an older cat. Rue came from a hoarding Somebody lived, lived in a motel, and they had a lot of cats. I, I want to say they had over 50. Yeah, you hit the jackpot, buddy. We're going we're gonna to do everything in our power to have, allow him to have a quality life. So he might be put on meds. Let's hope it's just something that medicine can take care of because we can handle him. Um... And there's Lewis. So we tried to get all the black cats out of here. And Lewis said, no, thanks. Um, Tiana was in here, and Tiana wanted out. 
And the last thing we're gonna do is make these cats feel like they are in jail. Today, when we open the door, we let whatever cats wanted to leave, leave. And Lewis said, no, thank you. Um, we, Stallone didn't even try, isn't that interesting? I think Stallone knows he's on meds. So I think he's got, um, he's got another, another week left of meds. He's on azithromycin. He was on it daily for a period of time, and then we're supposed to give it to him every other day. And then once he finishes his course, then we'll just open the door and cats can come and go again. So that is why Stallone is in here. Hi, Les. Hi, buddy. So, so we have to watch that paw. I don't know if she's thinking that it might have to be amputated. If, if they, I don't, I'm not sure um, what her thoughts are. Um, she was super busy and she just asked if we would take him. And I said, certainly. So, so I have a great team here. We've got over 20 regular volunteers. Altogether, I bet we have 70. But we probably have um, 10 to 10, for sure 10 solid regular volunteers. Jelly, Janice, Chris, and Hannah, those four are here all the time. And um, Jelly will be in charge of medicating. Janice and Chris will be in charge of taking cats to and from the vet. Dr. Mills will also make house calls. Um, do you want to come out, Rue? Um, um, Stallone had frostbite. All right, Rue wants to be back with his friends. Rue has been in sanctuary, so we will let him be out. But we have to bring him in for blood work. Okay, we'll go into the kittens. We don't normally take in kittens, only on emergency bases. So this is our junior room. This is our junior room. So um, if you're new here, I just wanna show you, these are intake pictures and what I want you to notice is the majority of them come in looking like this. You know, looking like this. They're not the epitome of, of health. Um, so Rue went to foster care and Rue peed all over and it was clear. So his, his kidneys are not um, doing their job. They're not functioning fully. They're not concentrating. So I'm, I'm, I'm worried that that cat is older. Um, and I think Rue is a boy. Um, so I'm, I'm worried that he, he might be in maybe, you know, early kidney or, re, you know, kidney or liver failure. He's not jaundiced, so it's probably more likely as kidneys. But so remember, look at these cats, because sometimes people will say, your cats look sick. And just remember, they come in looking like this. And now I'll show you what they look like now. Hi, beautifuls. Aren't these guys beautiful? So these are cats that we want adults to come in here and work, help us work with them, because these guys um, were born without being handled by humans. And so we are trying to backtrack here and try to teach them that um, humans truly are good. Look at there's Uncle Grayson. He goes outside and has showers and comes back in. So look at that one was drinking water. <laughs> are you drinking water? It's still on your lips, silly. Um, this is Haley. Haley is the first cat from Dr. Mills that we just got two days ago. She was a stray hanging around Fair Bovet. Very, 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 very skinny. She does have blue eyes. Haley. Haley, do you want to look at us? Hi, beautiful. Come here. She's got blue eyes. So she's got, she's a Siamese mix. She will be an easy adoption. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, are you gonna wake up? Huh? Say hi. 
What's on your nose? You had some lint on your nose. Hi. Such a skinny girl. You were so skinny. And you know what? So she's so nice. So clearly she had a home, right? Why aren't they looking for her? It's just sad. She's beautiful. So she is now spayed. She's got beautiful teeth, so we know she's young. She's probably six to nine months. So yeah, all these cats in here, um, they're on a high protein, which kind of sucks because we got fatty here. Um, but these cats are on a high protein diet. Um, and she can hear. Haley can hear. Um, we got a couple cats up there. A couple cats there. They're all over in here. Um, and so we don't let them run the sanctuary because they're, number one, they're small. Number two, we don't want to lose them um, in the midst out here. Um, these guys should be adoptable. Just, they just need a little bit of extra work. So the black and white one, that's um, Eile. Yeah, Grayson loves the food in here. Kevin Henry Heine loves the food in here. Dr. Robert Joseph Ray. So um, this is Kanga, and she is on um, antiviral drops and antiviral um, tablets. And um, because she's got herpes. Hi. Every time I say herpes, I want to say herpes is forever, because don't you learn that in school? <laughs> yeah, I can uh, super sweet. Um, we would adopt Haley out. Um, we probably should honor the five-day hold. We've not had anybody want her, so... Um, let's see here. Okay. Yeah, yep, you're right, Anne-Marie. Herpes, in, in, in most cats have herpes. Um, generally, it's, it is an eye issue. A lot of cats, when, you, when they lose an eye, usually it's due to the herpes virus. There's Briggsy. Hi, Briggsy boy. Briggsy boy heard that there's kitten food in there. There's Briggsy boy. Somebody was looking for Briggsy boy. Here he is. Hi, Briggs. Hi, Briggsy boy. Come here, Briggsy boy. Briggs. 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 Hey. Come here. Come here. Oh, Briggsy boy. Oh, hi. Hi, Briggsy boy. Hi. Hi. Yay. So Beckett is in foster care. I don't know if she's gonna adopt him or not. Um, I think there's people in with the, these cats here. Yep, yay, Mel is in here. How are the cats doing? Good. Awesome. Heidi's still. Oh, good. She's working her magic. All right, so. I will just go into our last room and then I will end this. Jolene's doing the poop scooping boogie. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, isn't that amazing that I can? My husband retired. Isn't that amazing that I can? I found Ava. I can go to Florida and I don't even have to worry. Here's Griffey. Hi, Griffy. Griffin had a dental, his third dental last week. And he had three more teeth removed. And he is on Depomedrol and Silencia every month. Hi, Griffy. Hi, Griffy. He's not happy. He does not like me. See, Griffy does not like me because I'm the bad guy. There's Ashy. Acorn is a, he's adopted. Um, but he is on hospice. He does have lymphoma. He is not doing well. Um, but I will keep everybody posted. He's comfortable and happy, but, but he, um, his, his, 
his findings are not well, like his blood work, his ultrasound, it's, it's not good. So he is spoiled rotten. He is spoiled rotten. And when Acorn shows signs that it's time to go, Judy will let him go. So nope, this is our outside, outs, inside outside area. It, we call this our break room. And Cedric and his posse stay in here. So it's a beautiful day, so there's not a lot of cats. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be in Florida. I'm excited to take a break, and then I'm, I'm um, ready and energized to come back. Uh, Janice will be me. She takes my place when I'm not here. So the cats are in wonderful hands with Janice, Melanie, Chris, and Hannah. So I have no fears at all whatsoever. All right, we will end on Roni Caroni. Roni Caroni, uh, thanks for watching, and we will be live at four o'clock every single day on Facebook. Nine, eleven, thirty, four, and eight, and watch Twitch, and you can see all the action. Thank you for watching. Teamwork, teamwork made this dream work. Bye.